This is Big Stitch lesson number four, and we're going to cover the thimble, the rubber fingertip, and the quilting stitch. Again, the thimble that I like is a metal one. It's inexpensive. It has a dished top with indentations on it and deep ridges along the sides to hold the needle as you quilt. The rubber fingertip helps to pull the needle through after you've taken your stitches and it also helps to use the needle threader with wires. So I start with my left hand underneath the hoop mostly with these two fingers in the area where I expect the needle to go down. So I start in a perpendicular fashion with the needle between the thimble and my thumb and take about a quarter of an inch stitch, pierce the quilt, and touch the underneath finger and pause. Reposition the thimble to the end of the needle and back off with the thumb so that your hand is in a backward C position if you're right-handed. Now you can start laying the needle down and pushing up with your underneath fingers and down with the thumb to create a little hill. That hill will shorten the space between stitches. Push with the thimble and pull with that rubber finger and there's one stitch. Let's see that again. Again, about a quarter of an inch stitch to start. Touch the underneath fingers, pause, reposition the thimble, back off with the thumb, lay the needle down as you push up with the underneath fingers and down with the thumb to create that little hill. Push the needle through about a quarter of an inch. Now we'll take a second stitch, touch the underneath fingers, push up with the underneath fingers and down with the thumb and there's a second stitch up oh, I got a little knot there okay two stitches are about as many as I can fit on a needle when I quilt big stitch style and so I'm going to continue rocking the needle up and down and the goal here is for straight and even stitches. I get maybe three or four stitches showing on top. I want my stitches to be visible. Okay rock up and down and a natural consequence of the rocker motion is that the stitches on top are longer than the ones on the back. See? With big stitch I don't fight that. Uh, if I want to hide those stitches, I put a, a very pretty but busy fabric on the back. So again, to start in a perpendicular position, go down, touch the underneath finger, reposition the thimble, back off with the thumb, go through and back up into a perpendicular position and down again making that little hill very important. Okay and notice that 
when you finish taking the stitches, you're in this position. To get back into the perpendicular down position, I just twirl the needle on my quilt top like that. So here we go again, about a quarter of an inch, make that little hill and two stitches at a time is what I can do. And some quilters quilt just one stitch at a time forever. Like the quilt in front of me was quilted one stitch at a time. This one was made by Meryl Hewitt, who always quilts just one stitch at a time, whether she's doing fine hand quilting or big stitching, and it hasn't slowed her down a bit. She's very productive. Okay, so the best way I think to learn to quilt is to look over somebody's shoulder as you are here and then make a practice piece such as this and practice, practice, practice.